So, hi everyone, I'm, I'm Sachin Jaiswal. I, uh, I lead product uh, at Swiggy. And, um, and, and my core focus is customer support as a product. And, and a large part of what I do is, is trying to look at building systems technology that can make customer support a lot more efficient. Um, and I'm going to talk about how this uh, AI is the future of customer support. I know a lot of people uh, would have a point of view, would be curious, um, but we have been we have been seeing AI evolve over the last few years, right? We I think when we started Nikki.ai, it was 2015. Um, there was very early days of chatbot. Um, now that has evolved and it is capable of so much more. We, we are seeing AI in, in multiple applications. We've seen this implemented across um, uh, driverless cars, which is in the works. Uh, we, have see, we, we saw that early 2015 implementation of chatbots, which is also in the works, and now it is matured. We've seen implementations across voice systems, uh, across Google Assistant's Alexas of the world. Um, it, all of these technology, they go through a hype cycle, and then they uh, go through a trough and then they find uh, mainstream adoption. And I think uh, we are at the crux uh, where we are going to see uh, mass scale adoption of AI. We are already seeing that with, uh, with chat GPT, um, and which, is, which is my next point. I, I would love to see a show of hands of people who believe that chat GPT is going to completely replace customer support. Okay, we have a few, we have a few believers. Um, who all think that ChatGPT is not going to uh, make a dent to customer support at all? Okay. Who all think that there is going to be moderate impact? Yeah. Well, pretty much uh, that's that's going to be, uh, and we've kind of experimented with GPT-4 technology even at Swiggy. So, and we today we have uh, close to about 73% automation uh, at Swiggy scale. Um, which still translates to millions of queries. Um, now, we and we expect that to go up to up to ninety percent, um, but we don't see that replacing humans completely. And for a variety of reasons, which I'll talk about. Um, so, what we are seeing with large language models today is uh, we are largely seeing the ability to understand language. Um, and because it has access to information, digital information across the web, it is able to answer that those questions in a very sophisticated way, which makes them feel like human. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's still a stochastic parrot. It's just repeating uh, and then regurgitating. And then, uh, you know, when a question is asked, it tries to predict what the best answer for that question can be, what the next word can be, what the next word can be. And, and which is why I said it's a stochastic parrot. All it is doing is it's, it's just trying to vomit whatever it has read from the internet. Of course, it has access to a large uh, database and therefore um, the information that it has is, is much higher than what we are capable of. But at the end of the day, it is, as I said, a stochastic parrot. Um, having said that, having seen what GPT is capable of, we have, uh, do you have a question, sir? Uh, okay, all right, no worries. Uh, so, having seen what GPT is capable of, um, we can clearly say that uh, things that a human uh, the, could, given a set of information, uh, whatever queries that a human could answer, is now going to get answered by chat GPT, that is for sure. Um, so, if you have very structured information available in either in your database or in one of your systems and you can provide that access to chat GPT, it is definitely going to answer that question. And it is going to answer that question with a level of sophistication, with the, uh, with the kind of uh, nuance that will make the answer feel a lot more natural than what natural human beings can answer. You have seen that already with chat GPT. And, um, and, and I'll be honest, at Swiggy, uh, a lot of the answers that uh, people give, they are very robotic. Um, and I think uh, we are, we have trained uh, the, we have trained our agents to use uh, SOPs. We have trained our agents to make sure they follow 
uh, those policies we have trained the agent uh, to use canned messages as many times as as they can and and therefore we have induced roboticity in in the conversations having said that what chat gpt is now able to do is it is able to um create generate language on the fly and that is a fundamental disruption so one definite uh, behavior change that we will see is i'm sorry what happened okay oh, never mind so one one behavior change yeah so one behavior change that uh, we will see is chat gpt is is going to answer very straightforward questions um and it, it which are with a much higher sophistication than what human agents can um but there are a lot of issues that need human interventions for example even at swiggy if a driver is moving in the wrong direction it actually needs issue resolution where someone has to go figure out uh, if the driver is moving in the wrong direction actually look at the data and confirm that um then at the next step someone has to call the driver figure out why is he moving in the wrong direction and do problem solving there and then in even if uh, the and then the agent has to take a call as to whether or not assign a new driver to that uh, particular food uh, order um all of this requires human intervention at this stage okay um there there is a potential there is a world view which where all of this can be done by apis assuming that um you know we will have a system that can uh, understand whether the a particular driver is able to move in the right direction we we will have systems which will be able to tell um given this the current state of the order should i actually assign a new driver assuming that there there is a possibility that uh, we can create digital systems to automate all these queries even then um there are going to be scenarios where st where we'll still need humans it's going to um the number of humans that will be needed probably is going to reduce uh, and that's a future that we are pretty certain of um and i think the best way to look at what chat gpt as a technology is is capable of it is going to amplify what existing agents can right and uh, that is a future that i am a big believer of that with this new technology we will see um more and more customer support queries getting addressed at a much faster pace and uh, you know i have seen when i try to call my bank there is long waiting list um th there is a long queue i have to wait for 5 minutes 20 minutes and that is a future that i am not very excited about so given the increase in productivity what we've seen um we would like to augment this customer support with technology and, and that's the power that chat gpt can unlock very very well it is going to un, uh, answer very stereotype very standard queries very very uh, well um and there are going to be some queries that will require human interventions um but that future is still going to be hybrid um the the other areas where uh, where we see like big potential of ai playing a role in customer experiences of course customer analytics um where the objective here is that uh, you know today as as i talked about uh, how the usage of yeah how, how the usage of uh, of systems can generate more data in the real time right for example if a user has reached out at swiggy and we want to know um has this customer really uh, fa face this issue for the first time or this is a repeat uh, interruption that we are seeing with that customer experience now that is an that is a appropriate area where we see ai playing a big role in in generating signals and helping the agents take the right decision um we we expect a world view where uh, we will have systems that will give a 360 degree view of where that issue is right for example in case if um if something went wrong in an order uh, the at some point in time some delivery partner would have reached out to their uh, to the support team and would have responded with uh, uh, you know that hey i am facing a bike issue now this is very a disparate system that exists disconnected from what the customer uh, today uh, is used to right for example a customer would invariably reach out to a customer support agent and most of those customer support agent would not know what happened to the delivery partner 
um, now creating the 360 degree view will actually empower that uh, that agent uh, and and help them take better decisions because it will help them reduce the time to address a particular customer support query and we're already seeing that at scale um, we we expect that uh, uh, we will be able to generate more uh, nuanced signals about the customers whether this customer is a is a high value customer whether that customer is a low value customer and with that we will be able to create priority queuing and and that is again a system that we built at swiggy to ensure that we are able to ring fence our core our core customers so uh, the the future of what uh, of of the future of cx is is going to be a mix uh, of human and ai i'll repeat what i said uh, and ai is going to augment the quality of redressal that we are able to give to uh, to to our good customers and and i think uh, th there is also uh, a, a new level of sophistication that we are seeing with chat uh, gpt type tools where they are able to understand different kinds of queries with diff in different languages um, we are seeing a level of sophistication where it is able to connect with our database and read that data and is able to answer some questions off the fly um we are seeing a level of sophistication where uh, tools like gpt they are able to um to, to go multimodal where uh, you know even if even if a customer has reached out on voice it is able to uh, respond interact in in a voice system so those um so those areas definitely uh, we expect that there is going to be uh, a big uh, a big layer of disruption if in framework i think simple queries are going to get automated first um and issues that require resolution there it will require uh, uh digitization of our systems so the degree of digitization is is going to um uh, is going to uh is going to determine what is the degree of automation for example um for someone like swiggy a lot of their processes are digital um they would have an api to answer every question about their customer so there the degree of uh, automation is probably going to be 90% versus i would expect something like a, a a new d2c brand or a bank would probably not have as many as much digitization so there the 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 automation percentage of resolutions are going to be lower because simply because they don't have the digital signal uh, if they do the probability of automation is going to be higher and then there are complaints some of these areas where you want uh, a human touch um those are the areas where you want um technology uh to to take a back seat and you want humans to be at the forefront because you want to give a a, a good quality of interaction to uh, to to these uh, to, to your customers now that's another area where we are going to see um um large number of uh, humans going to be deployed and and so the so now the future with with the rise of chatbots and especially with chat gpt uh, bringing in a layer of disruption we expect that the quality of resolution that humans will handle is going to go up and uh, they are going to use gpt tools to amplify the number of queries they can handle we implemented a human in the loop model um, in swiggy and we saw that the average handling time went down by 80% um, where the conversation was being done by um, by the by the uh, chat gpt uh, and the resolution was being done by humans uh, one case in point was if today you asked uh, swiggy where is my uh, i i ordered a food and uh, this is bad right and and then uh, the chatbot is going to interact with you take a bunch of ask you to take a bunch of pictures and then a human at the back end looks at the signals of the customer looks at the photo looks at the conversation and the, and then decides what is a resolution to give that is where they're going to be a human in the loop that is that'll help um that'll help uh, answer a bunch of questions take decisions um but uh, still we will see that uh, a lot of these conversations are going to get automated by uh, by tools like gpt so this is again a future of of what we are what of what we are seeing uh, of uh, what customer support can uh, mean in the future right and and um of course today's tools like chat gpt they are largely focused on on chat um but as as you are aware i'm not sure if you have actually tried out whisper uh, apis that that from same open ai systems they are also equally sophisticated 
um and 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 i think we are going to see uh, customer support now getting embedded into tools like uh, alexas of the world uh, it is going to get embedded into more and more voice calls it's not going to get restricted to chat that is another future where we see that uh, um bots are going to be omni channel um and and whatever the current state and of the uh, of the systems are it is going to get omni channel um we are also seeing that uh, today the the tools that we are using they are not very inexpensive uh, in fact uh, you know if if at swiggy if the average cost of issue resolution is approximately 32 rupees per ticket um we expect the the cost of resolution with the uh with this bot to be approximately 40 rupees but uh, of course that is a point in time problem we expect this to go down to 4 rupees if not less um and that is of course going to be uh, some uh, degree of disruption and and uh, not just um faster resolution but also better costs uh, for the businesses um the other layer where uh, where tools like uh, G, uh, you know gpt could be useful is is really understanding human sentiment a lot better if you have an angry customer you don't want him to be waiting right because they're going to cannibalize your brand uh, i we've seen that at swiggy if if something goes wrong um the customers they don't hesitate to reach out to harsha or tag harsha uh, on on twitter and then um cannibalize the brand that is the that is the level of expectation that today's customers have um they just they they are insanely demanding um they want instant gratification and to be able to cater to this new new gen customers we have to make sure that we have the technology available right we we will we will make sure we'll have to make sure that we are able to identify which customer is pissed and and actually prioritize that egregious customer um and and that is not just visible in the in the current interactions a lot of the times uh, some customer is angry and you will know that they are angry but uh, but uh, a bunch of times you will not even know they are angry because they'll not even reach out they just gone they'll leave your brand um to such customers you want to trace history you want to know that this customer has a um has had bad experiences in the past and and you would want technology to play a big role there to be able to give deliver better customer experience um these these are the areas where technology is going to play bigger and bigger role um i also talked about voice technology and and how um the rise of uh, of voice assistants will mean that uh, more and more customer queries are going to get answered in uh, on the systems like these everyone has them at home it's it's a very uh, seamless uh, no n- no cognitive load interaction you just sit at the back and uh, sit on your sofa and just interact and get your issue resolved this is going to be one one future of of customers experience um and of course while we are building for this uh, for this future we want to make sure that we take care of data privacy in fact uh, multiple governments across the world they are seriously thinking about privacy rules um, chat gpt is already banned in in uh, in a bunch of european countries because they are not compliant with gdpr rules we will see india also come up with their own uh, privacy rules and that will have some degree of impact to of how you design the systems right uh, uh you will have to figure out ways in which de identify uh, a customer you will have to figure out ways in which you are able to still train the system but uh, but have um a one arm distance uh, from customer data so that you don't profile them you don't target them um and as i mentioned the the future of of ai in cx uh, in in customer experience is going to be um is is i mean technology is going to play a big big role in delivering great customer experience that is undeniable especially where we stand today from the from what we see um we are going to see uh, uh technology implementations across uh, across all channels whether it be it social media tools like twitter or be it email or uh, chat or calls we will see ai getting implemented across all these tools we will also see that um, more and more uh, systems are going to get deployed uh, across understanding human emotion we will see emotional ai that will that will be deployed to understand how do you really handle a particular customer better 
what kind of resolution will be ideally suited and especially considering the volume of uh, customer support queries we get today it is in, impossible for humans to answer without the help of technology so the future of 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 uh, customer service customer experience is going to be hybrid it's going to be human it's going to be ai and that's something that i uh, that i can vouch for thank you so much for being a good audience questions happy to answer Yes. We'll just take a couple of questions. The rest can be addressed outside during lunch. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Hi, Sachin. This is Saikat here. Uh, so I have a uh, like a vast like kind of the question is very vast, but it should be like kind of I'll I'll keep it in short. So, uh, like we have seen, there are certain situations when there is a, like there is a com like we deals with the delivery. When uh, we are talking about the Instamart, when we are talking about the other other food deliveries, so uh, like there is a one situation I'm 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 looking at that is the traffic jam. Mm -hmm. If suppose there is a traffic jam into the into uh, like one delivery partner is coming from A to B. And how that delivery partner problem is getting getting solved with the help of the AI in the source of uh, like a traffic jamming. Um. Because uh, like when we are talking about the traffic jam, it's uh, like the Google map is not like the Swiggy platform is not able to uh, showing that key, like this uh, uh, X person is standing in the traffic. And it will be taking some time for uh, the, uh, your order to reach. Correct. But correct. Uh, so on that front, definitely how the AI will be tackling that problem in front of this. Right. I think, uh, so until we see humanoid uh, robots, I, I don't think we, AI is going to change uh, the physical interaction of the world. But what we will see, and we have already been seeing, uh, that we have been relying on AI to to assess traffic situations already, right? We use Google Maps and it leverages machine learning to tell you that you're going to get delayed. Um, and uh, we are already living in a world where AI is doing a lot of heavy lifting and uh, is able to um, to leverage technology to aid a customer if you're going from point A to point B, especially all these delivery partners, um, whenever we give an estimate, we also make sure that uh, we, we, we leverage that information, um, which is produced by Google Maps. Uh, and that tells us uh, a traffic augmented view of what the delivery time is going to look like. So I feel that uh, that future is going to continue. We will still rely on, on systems and tools. Exactly, like the map, uh, like recently the Google has uh, like, updated the new platform for the map that the immersive view yeah. in the map so might be that will be the futuristic ai which can help the swig in that front sure yeah yeah i have another question so i can discuss in the during sure. lunch yeah. sure. yes thank you yes, sir. it's such a question here uh, this is vikrant left yeah. side yeah hey vikrant as a customer uh, when i interact with the bots it doesn't give me satisfaction right when i'm <laughs> When I'm dealing with a human, right, there is a human responding back to my queries. Uh, the satisfaction is at a different level, right, th rather than when I'm interacting with a bot. How do you intend to change this mindset? It's there in the in the Indian industry. Yes, right? like I completely concur with you. So far, um, we used to get a CSAT of 55 PP if a bot responded and a CSAT of uh, 80 to 90 PP when a human interacts. So I agree with you. Um, but that has changed with uh, with the onset of GPT-4. Um, I think the biggest problems that existed in earlier bots were um, it was templatized responses. And every time a customer had a question, the bot would come back with the same answer, with the same sentence, with the same set of words, uh, because it didn't know any better. Um, some people tried to create variations to, to create some degree of variability in the responses, but it did not work. Um, that has changed with GPT-4. If you look at how GPT-4 works, it is already giving you a level of sophistication that is far better than what humans can. 
um, as I said, right, uh, even to our agents, we train them to to use the to follow the SOP. We train them to respond with canned messages, and uh, more often than not, they give botish responses. People at Swiggy also ask, "Is this a bot, really, that I'm talking to?" Um, so while I agree that so far it was not uh, great, uh, the the bot responses were not great, but that has changed because now there is technology that is generating language. It is not picking from a template. Hi, hi. Uh, I have a question. Um, so, even today, there's a lot of automation that happens on the consumer-facing side of the support ecosystem, right? You said Swiggy's already at 73%, which means what's left is really difficult things to address from an agent uh, support point of view. So, wh how do you see AI or technology playing a role on uh, helping agents deliver great quality support, right? Uh, because a lot of things are subjective, they're following SOPs, you're saying they're robotic. So what is your view on that? And do you think that in the ideal world, in some time, a lot of the innovation will happen on the agent ecosystem because the consumer side will be sort of fairly um, thought through? Yeah, I think that's a great question. Um, so I kind of agree with what you're saying that uh, automation has happened already to a large degree in the consumer uh, ecosystem. Um, I think there are two two additions, two addendums to it. One is now that tech, now by the onset of GPT, um, bot flow building is becoming DIY. So now it's not just big companies like Swiggy that will be able to deploy it at scale, but uh, even a, a small medium sized business or even traditional archaic banks, they're going to deploy um, much better, much more sophisticated bots at scale. That's point number one. Point number two, um, we will see that the complexity of the query that this bot, that GPT-4 bots can handle is going to be far higher than what um, queries so far the existing bots could handle. Which means that uh, uh, when I said that 73% is going to go to 90%, this is one of the big reason because now it can understand language, very, very complex queries it can understand. Um, thirdly, to to your point, right, that it is now technology is going to augment what humans can do. And I believe there is a future where uh, humans or the agents will send prompts and, uh, uh, you know, for example, if, if a customer is egregious and asking for a refund, um, the agent at the back end is going to uh, decide whether or not he, he he's just going to play um, in, in a... So his role is, is going to be less about the monotonic robotic work, but his role is going to be more towards, more focused on um, on doing high quality work, which means that they will just focus on deciding, um, uh, you know, in this scenario, I should give this resolution. And once they decide, they're just going to send a prompt to the bot, um, refunded, refunded 20%. And then the bot is going to uh, create a good quality response and interact with the customer and, and get done with it. So the future is going to be increasingly about humans in the loop. Um, and like I said, right, even at Swiggy, when we implemented that, it meant 80% AHT reduction, which was a significant gain for Swiggy at scale.